so it's too late. Okay, what are we up to? Uh, one, two, three, five wide lines down. Um, hammer base. Yeah, Omar, Omar Shmuel. Yeah, so we left off yesterday with, with talking about that the man has to give the money and he has to say Ariel Mekadeshus Lee. A woman cannot say, can't give the money and can't say Ariel Mekadeshus Lee. Right? Yeah? Parents, is two of you on. You hear me? We needed to get over 10, so he, he's two people. Oh, I'm just... Okay. Talk is only 10 on. Okay, so... Um, he gives her money. And again, five wide lines down. He gives her money or anything worth money. For Amr, meaning here, vid doesn't mean and. You don't have to give money and something worth money. It's one or the other. For Amr, hare at mekudeshes, hare at muoreses, hare at lila into. You're mekudeshes, you're engaged, you're my wife. Harezu Mikudeshes. Then you're Mikudeshes. Hareni Ishek, Hareni Balech, I'm your husband. I'm your I'm your Baal literally means owner. Hareni Arusa Arusek, I'm your engagee, I guess. Ain can't base mechush. there's nothing to be Khoshish for, meaning it's absolutely not a marriage and there's no there's not gonna require any sort of get or anything. Bechain, begerishin. Same thing by divorce. Nosan law. Nosan law. Amar law. Harayat mushulechas. Harayat mugureshas. Harayat mutaris lucholoda. Amariz mugureshas. Right as she says, you're sent away. You're divorced. You're he mutaris. says. If he says, I'm sorry. He says that she's um, so all these three. Then she's mugureshas. Any isheich, any baleich, any arusilich, any kan beis mechush. There's no, there's no beis mechush. Fine. Some of the Rav Papa Lava Ayi, the member of the Sabbath School, Yedayim Shein Matricha. I'm sorry, you, 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 you didn't say you have to. You said he says all these three. You mean any of these three, right? Correct. Any of these three. Correct. Yes. Even if he uses all three, it's not. It's not. Uh, it's not going to help, right? So anyway, so we had, we had this Gemara and get them, but Yedayim. Is we had an adorim also that when something has yadayim means it's hands or handles of a kli, which basically means is that it's not beferish, it's sort of like an extension. Meaning he never said anything clear about about uh, about the marriage, right? It's some, it's just to be inferred, right? So. Remember the suburb Shmuel Yadayim Shem Achikos. How many Yadayim are you? Do you mean to say that Shmuel said that it's considered Yadayim? Right? But Nan, but Nan, Haimer Aha. Guy says Aha, which means I'm going to be. Harezu Nazir, Hareza Nazir. He's a Nazir. My Ravina Ban the Gemara declares for Dilma Aha Petainis. All the guy said was Aha. Why are we assuming that Aha means? That he's that he's a nazir. Maybe Aha means he's going to fast, right? Right. But then if Avinu Baba Dilma Aha betainus Kamar Amar Shmuel who show you nazir over the funnel. No. So Shmuel answers that it's talking about where there's a nazir passing in front of him. So if there's a nazir, right? Everybody in town knew this guy's a nazir, and when the guy is walking by him, he says Aha. That's where Shmuel says he becomes nazir. Otherwise. Not so. Time at the Nazir over the phone. The only reason why he's a Nazir is because the Nazir passing by him. If it wouldn't be for the Nazir passing by, then he would not be considered a Nazir. So clearly, Shmuel holds you have to say Lee. Right? All this guy in these in all these cases that we said, he's, he said Harayan Mikudeshes. He never said the word Lee. I should have pointed that out before. I don't think I did. He said Harayan Mikudeshes, Harayan Mikudeshes. He didn't. Well, there's a Lee in the in the parentheses, which is taken yeah, out. Saying the word aha is different than saying hareat mukudeshes and leaving out the word Lee. Those are those are not Why? the same things. Why? Because aha, we have no idea what he's referring to, unless the Nazir is. You just said he's a Nazir. 
That's only if a Nazir is walking in front of him. But and the word Ahai itself... If Ruchayim was walking in front of him, he makes this guy the God of Adar. <laughs> that would be pretty good if you could do that. No? Isn't that what... Uh... Isn't that what Rabbi Yanko Galinsky said? His brachas come better than Rabbi Chaim because <laughs> right. when he finishes the whole thing, Rabbi Chaim says and it doesn't happen. But he... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, anyways, but no, but uh, David, it's he's saying the word <clears throat> aha. We don't know what he means, right? So Shmuel's saying that if he says aha and a nozer is passing by, so then that means that he's a nozer. But if the nozer is not passing by, then we have no idea. So. Here he's talking to a woman and he says Hare at Bikudeshas and gives her money. He never said, said the word Lee. So that's that Lakhira is not we we're we're assuming it's a yad. It's not it's not a def, not definitive. We don't know. Maybe he's a Shliach and he's doing the Shli. Maybe he's marrying her, he's saying Hare to uh to Yenim, right? So that's, 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 that's the best point because because we have uh, uh, and maybe that's exactly the same lotion except we are Mikhadish used for for Sammy over there. You know, so you know, without saying to whom he's Mikudish to, it's a zero. Right. No, so we're saying, well at least we it's were that's, thinking that you kept to keep the money. Well, but we're thinking that if he's talking to a woman, he says Hareat Mikudeshes. So then that that that's enough. That Yudayim tells us that it must be that he's marrying the the uh, this woman. Anyway, so that's the stira. So Mara says, "How am I asking to Amar Lee? Yitaka said Lee. Okay, he said Lee. So in the Nahabamin, he didn't say Lee, right? And um, and now we're saying that he." Uh, that he uh, that he didn't say been out when he took around. Yeah, so Yochi, my commercial answer that the Gemara asked the obvious question: What's the chiddush? Right. Well, if the guy said Arei Amikudeshusli, you're married. Okay, well, we did. That's that. That's that's poshut. The Gemara answers Hani, and now we're on to the top of Amar Aleph. Hani Lishni Basroi commercial. The real Chiddush is the Lishni Basroi. Right? Um, uh, meaning the second Lishonis. Hocha, Ksiv, Kiyikach, but Lishu Yikach is Atma. It means when you take a woman, not that you should take him, he should take him to her. But Hocha, Ksiv, Bishilcha, and by Get, it says send her out. Not that she should send herself out. Right? Meaning that's why the last three terms that the guy used are no good. Because it has to be that he is marrying her, not that he's making himself be married to her. Yeah? Fine. Okay. So, Tana Rabbah. Hariyat Ishti, Hariyat Urusasi, Hariyat Knuyali, Mikudeshas. Right? Those are all terms of getting married. So, that works. Right? Or... One or one or the other. Not, you don't need all three. Hareat Shali, Hareat Pirushusi, Hareat Skukali, Mikudeshes. Right? You say, if these are also the shyness of Kedushin, so then she's also Mikudeshes. So now what the Mishnah, what the Brysa just did was it said six, six, six cases, all of them Mikudeshes. So why did it split it? Why did it say three and then Sareza Mikudeshes and then another three, Hareza Mikudeshes? Right? What did it need a fourth? So ask for listening to Kulu Bechachada. Why don't you just say it in one case? Why is it? Why did it split it? So Gemara answers the Balabatisha, what we call the Balabatisha Teretz. Tana Tlas Tlas Sheminu Bekasinu, because that's the way he heard it. Right? He heard three. He heard. He, he heard three. He meaning he heard. See, I don't know. Did he hear this from different people, or he just heard it and two different shiurim? I wasn't sure what that meant. I mean, he, this is the way he heard it. He heard three, and then Mikudesh, and then he heard another three. So that's the way he's repeating it. Yeah, fine. So he probably has to let Mahu. Let's say you're Meyuchid. He tells his wife, You're Meyuchid for me, right? You're my only one, right? You're specific for me. 
As Rossi, you're my helper. Mahu, what's the din? Nagadati, Mahu. Nagadati means neged. Ezer kinegdai, right? So he's using, showing off his, uh, he's showing off his, uh, he's showing off his, his uh, Chumash knowledge. Right? He's, he's, he might connect it. Right? Salasi Mahu, you're, you're, you're like gathered to me. Salasi Mahu, my rib. You're my rib, right? Sigur, that's also an interesting one. Sigurasi, you're my locked one. Tahti Mahu, what about, uh, if you're under me, tfusasi, you're grabbed, mahu lekuchasi mahu, and you're taken to me, right? A whole lot, a whole string of questions. So posh nowadays, nowadays they say soulmate. You're my soulmate. Oh, that would be another one, <laughs> right? How about you're my Valentine? <laughs> Fill in the blanks, right? Fill in the blanks, right? So posh at miyachadus. Umar says, let's at least be, let's at least answer one. The Tanya Aimer Lukuchasi. Somebody says you're the one that's taken to me. I raise the She's considered Mary Mishum Shenemar Ki Yigach Ish Isha because it says when a man will take, when a man will take a woman. Fine. So we answer at least one. What about Harufa? So there's something called a Shivcha Harufa, which is a, a servant, a slave, whatever you want to call her, who's who's a uh, Haruf. Meaning it's uh, how do you touch the word harufa? It's uh, designated. Specific, designated, yeah. Shiv harufa means if a guy's mazana with a shiv who was designated for somebody, right? So what's the din there? So Tashma the Tanya, I'm a harufasi mikudeshi. Somebody says harufasi, she's mikudeshi. She can't be Yehuda, kairin la arusa harufa. Because in Yehuda we call an arusa harufa. So Gemara says. That's how you're answering it. Yehuda have you ruba the alma? Is Yehuda the majority of the world? Right? What do you mean? So what he's saying, oh, in Yehuda they say it. So you come on. This is what it means to say. If somebody says that she's harufa, she's designated for me, then she's gadesh. Shenemar v'hoi yeshivcha nechrefes leish. Right? V'oid v'yehuda karen larusa harufa. And in Yehuda they call an arusa harufa. So now what are you saying? In Yehuda, they use this terminology, and then we also have a pasuk, right? What that doesn't that doesn't sound right, right? But um, the other way, the other way around. I mean, you can't start with a pasuk and say, "Oh, and more than the pasuk, Yehuda also." Like, well, that's well. Um, well, the question is: Is do you? Is it? Yeah. Well, I don't know. You see, the Masara Sashas goes to the Gemara Baba Basra. But, yeah, okay. So you're saying the Yehuda, right? The Oid Lakra is an Oid to the Pasuk. Right? That's the way Rashi says it. Yeah, that's true. You're right. Rashi says it that it's really the opposite of what I said, meaning it's you need a Yehuda to be the Oid to the Pasuk. Whatever. It's the same, the same point. Like, what are you doing with if the Pasuk says it? So then, then what do you need Yehuda as a proof? Somebody says Harufa to Yehuda is Mikudesh. She can't be Yehuda. Because in Yehuda, they call an Arusa Harufa. Okay, so that's, so they we're just, uh, that's, um, it sounds like it's only in Yehuda that the word Harufa works. Not in Yehuda, you, you can use the word Harufa and it does not work. So fine. So Gemara says, "But my asking, what are we talking about?" Now again, this is going back a new question on the Gemara that we said that if he says all these lashonos, your your hareat ishti arusasi clearly all those lashonos. So we said they're married. So but my asking, so what are we talking about? He's not even talking about kidney kedusha. Meaning he's going to the grocery store, like we said on Friday, that whoever was that. Was Mahmoud any time he paid for something to a woman? He said Shaloy Lashem Kedushin, right? So they stop talking and whatever they're in this. He's giving money, and then all of a sudden, he says something about marrying or a get. I mean, no Yoda Michael How do we know what he's saying to her? Right? We have no idea. They weren't even talking about marriage. Fellow of David, even Alis Kedushin must be talking about where well, he spoke to her about getting Kedushin. Avogav Deloy Amar Nami. So then. 
then if if he's talking to her about getting married and then he gives her money, that should be enough. Right? If they're not talking about marriage, so then what is what are these things help? How's she supposed to know that there's marriage here? He just gives her money, right? And if uh and, and well, he mentioned something about, but he doesn't there's not they're not talking about marriage, so how should she know that he's even talking about marriage? And if they are talking about marriage, then just giving the money is enough. To Tanan, and we have a proof of this. If somebody was speaking to a woman on and he gave her the get or the or the kedushin, and he did not explain, he didn't say what he was doing. Rabbi Yosi, he says that's enough, right? And she's married or divorced, right? Rabbi Yudaimer, Tzarech Lefarish, he needs to explain himself. The halacha is like Rav Yossi, right? That you don't need to say, just giving the money, as long as you're discussing it, then giving the money is enough. So, so what's the pshat here in the Gemara? So, we're talking about what he spoke to her on Iske Gidu Vikdusha. If he gave it to her and he was quiet, then then it's going to be a good condition. But See, if he was just talking about marrying her and he gave her the money, or he was talking about divorcing her and he gave her the money, fine. So then, and then, uh, or he gave her the get. Then we'd understand that that's what, that's what his, uh, that's what he planned on doing. But here we're talking about where he actually said one of these strange terms. And then the shail is Hani Lishni the Kedusha Kamarla. I don't the Malacha Kamarla. Maybe he didn't want her to be his wife. Maybe he needed her to be his cleaning lady. Right? So Mamela, since we don't know, since they weren't discussing, meaning they were discussing marriage, but he used one of these other Lashinas. So maybe when he says, uh, I want you to be uh, opposite me, or I want you to be Harufa to me, or whatever it is, so maybe. It's only uh, it's only that that he meant. So the Gemara says teiku, meaning it's meaning only he, we don't know if he meant marriage. We just meant as a helper. Fine. Kufa he medaberim aisha leske gita vikdusha. So we said if he's speaking to a woman about a get and kedusha, but also la gita vikdusha v'loy pirish, and he gave her a get and kedusha, and he didn't say what he was saying doing. Rabbi Yosi Amar Daya, Rabbi Yudah Amar Tzarek Lefara. She needs to explain. So I'm Rabbi Yudah Amar Shmuel, Pusha Sukin by Zayinian. We said, like we said, they have to be talking about that Indian. Fine. So Gemara says, Ketanoi. This is actually Machlag Tanoi. Rabbi Yom Rabbi Husha Sukhan by the Indian. Rabbi Lazar Rabbi Shimon, I'm Rabbi Bishayna Sukhan by the Indian. He says, You don't have to be talking about that. It's still going to be a marriage. So Gemara asks, We love the Sukhan by the Indian. We know Yodamai Kamala. If they're not talking about marriage, how is this lady supposed to know that he, that he wants to marry her? So we say, inyan, but I say and if he know. stick and if he sticks in the word li, then everything is good. L'chayra. Well, no, but, well, well. These are the other yeah, no. These are the other yeah. So even if he not, says the word li with them, it doesn't work. He's not using the word kedushin. He's not using mekudeshes. Right. All of these Lashonas. Really is kind of built in. It's Hareyat Gershusi. It says, yeah, it says, it says, Gemara, these are all, he's, he's saying Lee. He's no, but how is she supposed to know that he wants her to be his wife? Maybe he wants her to be his helper, Azer, or he wants him, I don't know exactly what the rib would mean. Right? He's a sports doctor. Wait, no, it's not, it's not <laughs> with those Shilas. It's those Shilas that we're talking about the Bryson. I thought maybe I thought it maybe is I thought it's all of it. Uh, it could be I'm wrong. Ah. I'm not sure. I thought it was just the Brisa. It's going on the when the Brisa says that it says that it works. When does it work? Right. No, I hear that. I don't know. I thought it was all. Either way, so Abai is saying they're talking about me in the Indian, but I say Indian. Right. Meaning they were discussing. Um. They started discussing marriage, and they started discussing, let's say, we're willing for the honeymoon, right? And then he went and said this to her. 
So that's that's so it's got to be something about the Indian, but it doesn't have to be mamish about marriage. Right, that it doesn't have to. Um, uh, what do you call it? It's that as long as the, he doesn't have to say the fairish, as long as they're talking about marriage and he gives money, that's enough. Some of the Riyam, the Ravashi, the Allah, the Amr of Yehud, the Amr Shmuel. Culture, and they have a tivgit to make Yedushin, lo yeh, lo yeh, sikim on, right? So, and this way we pass Kintaka. Somebody who doesn't know well the halachas of Kedushin and divorce should not be getting involved, right? I Meaning you have to know it well. So, is this. Does he have to know this halacha too about Rav Yosef? Does that even if he meaning he's not qualified, even if he never heard this din of Rav Yosef Shmuel? Amarle in a chanam he says yes, he has to know. Yes, he has to know this din too. Meaning this din is strong enough that he has to know this din. That if they're t- discussing marriage and then the guy gives money, then that's enough. Then that's enough to to consider them married. Right now, the Taz, right? I think it's the Taz who says that Kol Yedev Betiv Gittin, because we have many people that are Masada the Kiddushin that don't know anything about Kiddushin. Right? And all they're basically doing is getting up there saying the Bracha, you know, tell the Chassid to give the ring, etc., etc. So the Taz says that that's not, it does, to just to be Masada the Kiddushin, that's not called, I think that's how the Taz says it. That's not called being Isaac in, mar- in halachas of marriage. You're just marrying them off. You're making the brachas on behalf of the chassid. Right? It's not... Uh, Why? They, they don't sit there before and make sure that the, that the documents are, are written right? The shtaros yeah, are written they, right? Yeah, yeah they, they have to, but you but it's easy because you just take the documents and you show it to another rabbi or the other rabbi fills it out for you and it's not so difficult to do. Right? Yeah, whatever it is. But, yeah. But that's what that's what the Taz says. Fine. Right, so if, if he gives it to her and he says these lashonos, so pshita nasan logita va'amar la leishtoi harayat baschayrin. It's pashut if he gives her a get and he tells his wife, "You're a baschayrin." On Tomei Beis now, loy amar v'loy klum. He didn't say anything. Right, because he didn't. That was not that. That's not the right terminology for a divorce. That she goes free. If she says to her servant, "You muttered everybody." Didn't say anything. He tells his wife, "You're to yourself." Mahu, what's it? Did he say it from malacha? He said it completely. We had this whole Gemara in Gittin. Guf shall get shikhra. What is the what is the guf? What's the body? The main part of it get shikhra, meaning that's a get that's telling an evid that he's free. Hariato ben chayrin, you're free. Hariato laatzmicha, you belong to yourself. Finds vashdu ma evid kanani the kani le gufe evid kanani, who when you're freeing him, he's actually buying back his own body. So kiyomale hariato laatzmicha. When he says, when he says, you belong to yourself, legamri kamer. That means legamri. You say isha the like kind of like gufa, and isha who is not kind of her guf like kol shikain. Isn't it a kol shikain? So, meaning, a uh, somebody who you own the slave, right? You actually own him outright, and telling him that he belongs to himself is enough, right? So, in a woman who he does not own her guf, right? Isn't it a culture cane if he tells her that she belongs to herself that it should work? What happens if he tells his servant, I don't have an ASIC with you? What's it doing? Does he mean it completely? Or maybe he means it for Malacha. Right? Again, he says to his Evid, I don't want to have an ASIC with you. Does it mean he doesn't want to have him as a slave? Or maybe he's saying, I don't want I don't want your malacha, but you're still my slave. The guy sells his evid to a guy. He goes out for free, but get but he needs to get shikh from his first rabbi. So let's just chazit this over. This is referring to you're not allowed, it's also to sell a evid kanani to a guy. 
Why? Because an Ebed Kanani has to keep mitzvahs. Right? We know Ebed Kanani has to keep mitzvahs like a woman. If you're going to go say that, um, if you're going to go sell it to a guy, then he's not going to keep mitzvahs anymore. So now basically what you're doing is you're causing somebody to become irreligious. So you're not allowed to sell them to a guy. Well, there's a knas, right? You have to pay up to 10 times the price in order to get him back from the guy. But, and then he go, but he goes free. The Ebed goes free. But he cannot get married to a Yid un until his original owner gives him a get shikhr. Again, he's not allowed to sell the Ebed Kanani to a guy. If he did, he gets a knas and he has to pay back up to 10 times the price of the Ebed. And the Ebed goes free anyways. But he, still he has to pay it to if the guy holds out on him and says, I'm not selling him back to you until you Okay, can fine, fine. Yeah, fine, fine. If a smart guy, that's what he's going to do. If he's an educated guy, that's what he's going to do. Right? And that's what the Yid has to pay. The Yid has to pay that back. And, but he cannot, once the Ebed goes free, he cannot marry a, a Yid unless he gets, still needs to get Shikhra from his first master. Right? That's only where he didn't write the word Ainoi. That's a star. But if when he sold the guy, when he sold the Kanani to the guy, he wrote him a Ainoi, a star, then that's enough. So Gemara says, Hey, Dami Ainoi, what's the case of Ainoi? When he says to him, when, I, when, you, when you run away from me, I don't want to have anything to do with you. I mean, not from me. Sorry, when you run away from the... Um, meaning he sold him to the guy. He says, by the way, when you want to run away from him, I don't want to, I want to have anything to do with you. Right? So therefore you see that that Ainli Asik book is enough to free the guy, to consider him free. Right? Even though he didn't tell him you're, you're, you're owning yourself or you're Ben Chayrin, etc., etc. So that's how the is answering the Shiloh. That's saying is enough to be considered freed. Fine. Then we have an interesting din here. Omar Abaye, Hamakadish but Milva ain't a Makadesh's. If he's Makadesh's wife with a loan, she's not Makadesh's. So what does that mean? Meaning he lent this lady money. She owes him money. He says, you know what? Keep the money. Keep the money. I want to marry you. Right? So they're not allowed to get married. That's in Mekudoshes. But if he says, Bahanos Milva Mekudoshes, with the Hana of the loan, she's married, then she would be married. The Gemara is going to say what this means exactly, but also... Does she have to pay it back still? Because it's only the Hana oh. of the loan. No. What, Bahanos Milva? We'll get to that in a minute. Right. In the regular Milva, no. The regular Milva, the regular Milva doesn't work. Why for the loan? He's being Milva, but it doesn't work. Hanaz Milva, it works, but you're not allowed to do it. Because it's, it's, it's like ribis. It's like, it's, it's, and it's, Haroma means a trickery of ribis. What does this mean? Hi, Hanaz Milva, Echidami. What's this case of Hanaz Milva? He lamed this before. If you're talking about where he had, where she was paying back to Omar La Arba Bechamisha, he told her, that the way she has to pay back a loan of four coins, she has to pay it back with five coins, which is ribis. Her ribis maliyasehu, that's real ribis. So it can't be that what he said to her was, you know what, we had a loan of four, and you're supposed to pay me back five. Instead of paying me back the fifth, I'm, I'm Michael, and you married me. That can't be, because that's pure ribis. And it's the same case. It's the same case as Milva. So more answers like zimna. Basically, what he tells her is that you know what you have to pay me back the loan. This guy's a cheap guy. He said you still have to pay me back the loan, but I'm going to extend the loan for you by another month, and the hana that you're going to get from extending the loan, that will be. Instead of that, you'll pay me. You'll pay me back. So that's similar to ribis, right? It's similar to ribis, but it's not. It's not uh, it's not actual ribbon, so that's why you're not allowed to do it. All right? Fine. So I'm a rova. Hey Lichmana, I'm a Let's say a guy tells a, a woman, take the or says to anybody, here's money, but you gotta give it back. All right? Meaning I'm only giving you this money if you give it back to me. So Bemecher Loikona. If it's a guy buying something, the guy's not coined it, because what kind of kinian is that? I mean, I go over to the guy and say, 
oh, I'll buy, uh, let me buy your watch off of you, but you got to give me back the money. So that's obvious. That's not a mechira. What kind of mechira? The guy has to give you back the money. The isha ain't a mechadeshes. By a woman, she's not a mechadeshes. The pidgin aben ain't benoi podi. By pidgin aben, if you meaning you give the money to the kayan and say, give me back the money, that's obviously not a good pidgin aben. But why truma, why would I think that this would be good? What's the hava mean? That, that I need the Gemara to tell me this that this isn't good? Um, yeah, well, the Gemara, yeah, so the Gemara is going to, let, let's see what the Gemara, Gemara is going to discuss it, right? But by Truma, Yotze Yudei Nesina, but by Truma, it works, which is, by the way, I know we have all the Kahanim on, which is one of the scams you could pull on a Kayan, because by Truma, you can, you can give the, the, the Kayan Truma and tell him, hey, you got to give it back to me, and that works. Why don't you just right. bring the heat to Achas? That's it. And that's on Don Haka Cup. Well, you could do, I guess you could do that's that. All. I guess give he wants. One to... heat, give him one heat. To... Yeah, that's yeah, that's true. That's true. But the guy wants to be generous, I guess. If I read, don't come visit me. <laughs> well, it's better than better than the guy giving you the Truma, Aaron, and then saying, you gotta give it right back. Right. right. That's, guy, right. See, that's like the guy disputing the credit card, by the way. Uh, correct, but here, but again, but the guy obviously the soul can't eat the truma though. Let's let's be clear on that. He can't eat the truma. He could sell it. He could sell it. He can't eat it. Right? Yeah, the truma still remains the status as truma. Correct. He just gets it back from the coin. So that's what we want to say. But truma yotzi de nesina but also lasting. But you're not allowed to do it. Why? Nation It looks like a coin who goes to work in the in the not the fields the. Uh, by yeah, by the threshing, what do you call it? By the gardening, the threshing Store, floor, storehouse, or whatever. Storehouse storehouses. He's meaning the kayan is, says, you know, let me go help out over there, and I'll. These guys say, oh, this guy's a kayan. Let me just give him all the truma right now, and then we don't have, then uh, we don't have to deal with the headache of finding a kayan. Right, but the kayan, he can't do that because it's it looks. Uh, it looks like he has an unfair advantage. Correct. But or, I the, I tied it that that a kohen shouldn't be a, a moil. Sorry, uh, Aaron, but <laughs> Kohen shouldn't be a moil because he's the he's because Kohen Mesayves Gronos is going to look to get he's going to look to get the pity in a pen too in three weeks, you know. So it's, it's Kohen Mesayves Gronos. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So yeah. So that's so whatever it is. But so by basically, yeah, by yeah. Rachem, Rachem, and we're rolling in it over here, rolling in it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so anyway, the so Gemara says by selling. Marriage, pigeon up in, it doesn't work to say you got to give me right back the money. By truma, it does work. So my kasava rov, what does rov hold? You can give somebody a matana on the condition that he's giving it back, and that's called a matana. So if you kulunami, if you hold that, which we'll get back to that in a minute, what exactly it is, then in all these cases it should work. I mean, if you can give somebody a present, and then on condition that he gives it back. Meaning, if he doesn't give it back, then it's not considered a present. If he gives it back, it's considered a present. So if you hold that, that works. So say the same thing here. I gave you money on the condition you give it back. Okay. So it was your money. So it should be a good Kenyan. And if you say it's not a matana, I feel truma nami loy. So then even truma also shouldn't work. That's question number one. We know that Rava holds and matana manaslafsa is a matana. Bring this asterisk on the condition that you give it back to me, not Luvich Zero. Right? And he took it, meaning a guy tells his friend, here's an asterisk on the condition you give it back to me. And he takes it and he gives it back. Yotza is Yotza. Bim Lav Lo Yotza. And he's not Yotza. So you see, Rava clearly holds Matonam Naslahav. So it's Shema Matona. Now, this is this year, you don't have to do this, Sukkis, because Sukkis this year is Shabbos. First day is Shabbos. The din is that you need Lachem by Lulav and Esrik, it needs to be yours. So therefore, on the first day, if you're borrowing a lulav and esrig, so therefore you need to, it needs to be given as a matana. The only thing is, what happens if you give the guy lulav and esrig with matana, and he doesn't give it back to you? Right? So on the second day, you can use a borrowed lulav and esrig. No big deal. On the first day, what happens if the guy decides not to give it back to you? So the way around it is by saying matana manas laughs. And this is what we paskin. I'm giving it to you as a matana. Why not? Why not you do the first before you give it to him? 
good, but you're still not going to get back your asterisk. You don't want to second day ready. So what? But he's not giving it back to you enough to. Well, then you can use it. Let's see. Okay, fine. Okay. He's not giving it back to you. He's not giving you. You didn't see enough Tully. You're too nice a guy. It doesn't dawn on you. That <laughs> <give it back. laughs> but but it, it's a fascinating. I asked I asked uh, Tom McCulloch tonight about this. I said, I, I never understood it. Now, would anybody have a Havamina that a guy's going to take the Lula and as and as a present and not give it back? Meaning this whole thing, when you go to a guy and you want to, you go to a, you know, a Hush of a Rebbe or something, First day young, you want to shake his and essence. He tells you, Matanam and Aslaf. So basically, what he's telling you is, is I don't trust you. <laughs> I'm afraid you're going to take my Lulav and because you're a crook. I'm only giving it to you, Matanam and Aslaf. And therefore, you're going to be scared because to be Yaitz Lulav and Esrug, you want to make sure you're Yaitz. But Al Geneva, that you're not, that you're not Makbir on because he's going to, you're not, well, it's not really Geneva because it's a Matana, but it's not the most Ehrlich thing to do. So there we do Matanam and Aslaf. So that's, so that's really. When we're giving our Lulav and Esrik to kids or whatever on, on uh, first day sukkahs, well, the reason why we're saying Matanam and Asla is because we don't trust that the guy's going to give it back. Okay, like that's what it is. Yes, that, that's what it is. But anyway. Back of all, all the mice, you know, is, and if to go right away into their places, steal everything. I guess. I guess I hear what you're saying. I, I hear. And so maybe they'll talk to steal the Lulav and Esrik. I don't know. What is he, that? The <laughs> yeah. Maybe. Could you explain the, the truma again? I don't understand what happened by the truma. The truma is basically the guy, the Kayan is working the storage houses. Yeah. And he figures he works the storage houses. The guys are going to tip him well because they got to give truma anyways. Right? So basically, the guy... Um, so that's the reason why you shouldn't do this, this, uh, this um, giving the 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 truma to the kayan and then taking it back. What uh, what is give what is that what is the case? What, what I don't understand what happened. Which I'm, case? I'm kind of to give truma to a kayan. Correct. Okay, so I have a, I have a I have a basket of truma. I'm going to Aaron's house. What am I doing with it now? You're giving it to him. Okay, so now, so... And then you're taking it, you're giving it to him on Manas that he gives it back to you. How could that possibly be your sentiments of giving Truma? That? How is that possible? <laughs> it says that it works. It says How that it does works. it possibly work? Well, he's, he said you can't do it. It works, but it's also to do. Right? Um... Because it's like the guy who works the, the. It's not like that at all. There's nothing to do with that. Why? It, I'm it supposed looks... to give him truma, so I'm not giving it to him. Jacob, that works only once because no one's going to ever take it back as a repeat customer. Right. No. So the way Rashi, no, I hear what about saying. No, that's exactly what he's saying. Aaron. That Rashi basically says that. The reason why it's comparable is because if you're going to allow this Yisrael to get away with this, meaning what kind is going to agree to this, right? If all the Kahanim strike against this guy and tell him, hey, fly a kite, we're not taking your truma, what's he going to do? Right. right? The Hachzirah doesn't make sense because what good is that to the Yisrael, the Levi for that matter, to, to get back something that's truma? It's, it's worthless to him. Oh, yeah, but he'll sell it. He won't get. But is he going to tell it as Truma? Yeah, of course. This he's not going to get a lot of. Money. He's not. A, you think he is he allowed to do that? Is he allowed to get a no from Truma? Yeah, it's not also about no. It's not also for about no. for Yisrael. Are you sold to Zara, sell it? For Zara, is he allowed to to uh, to just sell Truma? Really? Yeah. I thought. No, he can't sell it initially, but once he, if he gets his hands on it, then he could sell it. Yes. Initially, it has to be given to the Kayan. Right? Let's say a czar decides he likes, he likes, uh, I don't know why he would ever do this, but he goes to a Yisra, uh, Kayan and he wants to buy his truma off of him for whatever reason. So he could, I think, as far as I know. What good is it for him? He I, can't I, get, I don't know. I don't, I, think, I don't, I don't think he's allowed to get a knot from it. 
I have no idea. Of course he can. He's not getting enough from the Truma. He can sell it. But that, that's pretty good, huh? No. What? What? It's not indirect. It's not. It's not Hana from Truma. And Truma's not an Israel Hana anyway. He's betting bet that grains are going to go up in value by a lot, and he'll be able to sell them to Kahana for more money. I don't know. Didn't we have that in the beginning of the third parak of Marcus? That's one of the reasons to get Marcus is to eat Truma. Azar eats Truma. He's yeah, not he's eating not. it. Hala, he's not selling eat. it to Kahan. Oh, okay, who's he selling it to? Another to Kahan. Yeah. He's selling it to Kahan. No, a Kayan. A Kayan would want to buy Truma because he can get it for cheap. So any 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 produce that a Kayan needs, which he doesn't get from Truma, he would be happy to pay a little bit instead of going to the supermarket. I mean, because nobody's. Nobody wants to be Mazaka Aaron with any Truma. So yeah. Aaron goes around. So are there any better deals okay. out here? And uh, and but but it's a limited market, you know. Yeah, but the point limited is limited market. Yeah, but the yeah. point is that yeah. this agrees to this. Achman, the deal is a deal. Yeah. So that, that's the point of the Gemara. If a Kayan agrees to do this, then we're afraid. Not afraid, but the guy who's doing this with him is going to probably tip him and give him. Some regular chuma, let him keep it. So it's basically similar to a kayan who hangs out in the storage houses, and and it's hopefully getting some chuma. Either way, either way, the Gemara is asking in Kasha. Rava holds. Rava holds matonah manasla hafsir is considered a matonah. So if that's the case, then it should work for pidyon aben, and it should work for marriage, and it should work for any sort of sale in addition to chuma, right? Because if you hold matonah manasla hafsir, it works. Right, you're giving a present to a guy on condition he gives it back. Lula Vanessa. You're giving him the Lula Vanessa. You tell him, you got to give it back to me. If you give it back to me, it was a matana, which means it was considered yours and your yaitza. If you don't give it back to me, you weren't a yaitza. Right? And that's the way we paskin. So then why can't you do the same thing by these things? El Omar Ravashi. So Ravashi changes the pshat. He says, Bakulu koni. That taka koni with all them. You can go buy something from a guy on the condition he gives it back to you. Levar me isha, but by isha for marriage it doesn't work. You can't go give your wife money, a ring, hariya makdeshli, on condition you give it back. So if you shain isha niknis bechalipin, because a woman can't be kind of with chalipin, like we said a couple of blad ago, chalipin doesn't work for the isha, right? Because it's not a shava pruta. I mean, it doesn't have the it, it doesn't have to be a shava pruta. Fine. So amar le rav huna, amar le rav huna. Mar Braider of Nechemila Ravashi, Hokem Rina Mishme the Rava Kavasok. We say like you that the Kenyonim do work in this situation, and she is not, and uh because we hold of Matonam Naslachsa is Shma Shma Maton. Okay, we'll stop over there. And Ailum should have a good